I'm on the way, we ain't got no time to waste Popping my gum on the way, am I in the way? I don't want brushing and none, I want your blessing today Oh, by the way, open the door, by the way Told you that I'm on the way, I'm on the way I know connection is bad, pick up the phone for me, baby If I didn't write blade on curve, would you still love me? If I minimize my nail worth, would you still love me? Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than to love me Keep it a whole 100, don't got you So give me a run for my money There is nobody, no one who I run me So give me a run for my money Sipping bubbly, feeling lovely Living lovely Just love Unicorn Gang and Glitter Goons. It is Lady. We are coming to you guys with a vlog for today. Uh, so today we're going to the Apple Store to get our daughter's phone fixed. Again. Again. So that should be exciting. The the Apple Stores in Chicago are always crowded. Always. Yeah, always. We have to make up. You definitely have to make an appointment to go to an Apple store. Like, it's like a doctor's office in there. Like, it's it's always crowded. It's always packed. People be getting lost, be losing their kids. It's just <laughs> it's just too fucking much. And the Apple stores in Chicago are pretty big. Like they, like it's a small one, but even the small ones aren't that small, and they're still crowded. Every day, no matter what time you go in there, crowded. Well, the one we going to, baby, it's not small. It's actually pretty big. Yeah, that's one of the biggest ones. I wanted to look at the new Apple Watches anyway. So. We gonna be in there for three hours, I promise. No, we are uh, not. Okay. Why would you put? Why? Why would you put? That and when you go in the Apple Store, you have to be like the minimum is three hours. I guarantee you, three hours. You in that three hours. No. You go in there for some headphones, you in there for three hours. God damn it, I forgot my headphones. I gotta return them. You did. Yeah, I forgot my headphones. So while we're driving, my wife <laughs> asked me what was the best pickup line I've ever heard. You wanna go first? No, I'll ask you. The best pickup line I've ever heard was This, what the hell did she say? This girl had came up to me. We was at a gay club, me and my friends. We were at this gay club, and she was basically trying to talk to me. And I told her, I was like, no, thank you, or whatever. And she was like, she was like, oh, okay, it's all right. It's um, some people just not ready for their life to be changed, or something like that. I'm like, <laughs> and she walked off. I was like, wow. what? And me and my friends are just laughing. I'm like, like, why? <laughs> anyway, so what was the best you one You wasn't ever? ready. Girl, she was trying to change your life, girl. You weren't ready. Girl, shut up. I always get on by, like, older women, like, all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the funniest one that I heard was, like, the old lady was like, uh, I was in the store. Well, she wasn't that old. She probably was like, she's probably like in her 40s or something like that. Mm -hmm. But, um, she was like, I'll take, I'll take everything that you got and replace it with everything that you need. I was like, ooh, girl, okay. All I had was hot pockets. <laughs> it's all oh. I had. It's all that's all I had though, so I was like, uh, I want no hot pockets. I mean, I was, I'm good. Did you just laugh? Yeah, I just laughed. I, I just laughed. I was Girl, like, oh, she was okay. at you. <laughs> she was at you. I just laughed. I was like, oh, okay. You have used pick up line? No. What? Because why would I use a pickup line? You ain't never uh like approach a stud or nothing like that. 
No. Oh, you Honestly. Old you old school. No, it's not that I've never wanted to. It's just I've, I was always, like, really shy. So I would just keep, like, staring at them until they made eye contact with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just like putting And then if they never made eye contact with me or if I made eye contact with them they never came up to me, that was it. That was oh, you was like fuck well fuck it did <laughs> <laughs> Smitty <laughs> <laughs> I was just always scared of rejection, like no. Mm, no. You you had called Smitty back. Shut up. <laughs> Have you ever used a pickup line? Uh, I, I mean, you know, I won't call them pickup lines. Uh huh, uh huh. But you know. Okay, so so what was it? I want to hear it. I mean, I really didn't like have pickup lines. Like I just like walk up smooth or whatever and be like, oh, okay, walk up smooth or whatever. Depending on whatever, what time of the day it was. Okay, and okay. Stuff, you know, I'll be like, good morning. Mm -hmm, no, mm -hmm. I, I won't say no lame shit like that. I don't give a fuck about your morning. I would just walk up and just like start a conversation. Oh. And if then, I use the pickup line today, I'd just be like, but have you ever rode in an Uber XL? I got that. That's fucked I up. I got that for you. I, that, oh, you. That's the only thing you're riding, girl. That, that's Uber XL. That's it? Yep. That's, that's, that's what you are. I'll buy you Chick fil A. Bam. Facts. Chick fil A and Uber XL. Number in the bag, that, and they coming over that night. That is a way to their heart. Yes, it is. It is. It is. Yes. Or I can hit a girl with if it's a family, be like, I work at Sephora. Yep. There we go. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Just, gosh, bitch. <laughs> Real talk. I totally agree with that, babe. I totally agree. What would you say? I just never really had pickup lines. Like I was always good at like conversation, starting conversation. So I was just starting conversation. People will fall in love with her dimples, and I think that's what it is. She has really deep dimples. No, I'm like it's just all about your conversation. Like if you can't have a conversation with somebody, if you can't talk to them, and like women, they like to laugh. So that was always a plus thing with me. Yeah. Because you make everybody laugh. Right, but with you, like, some wrong with you. Like, I think you was the first girl that ever made me laugh. Like, you, I, oh, my God, some wrong with you. You need hell of Wait, wait, wait. I was the first girl to make, ever make you laugh. He was just always making them laugh. Yeah, like, you know how somebody be, like, trying to be funny? But then you know how some people are just, like, naturally mm. funny? Oh, yeah. And you, like, a natural, like, you, you like me. Like, you know, we just, like, naturally funny. Like, we don't be trying to do shit that's funny. It just it just happened that way. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, but you know, three hundred feet. The destination is on your left. You just you just funny like something wrong with you. Like you need Jesus. There's something wrong with you. This is true. This is this is very true. It's very true. Um, I've been trying to figure out what it is. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. So the question is. Where the fuck are we gonna park for this? Uh, Girl, what you talking about? We finna find a park. Don't do that. Boom, right there. Say less. Okay, Gabby. Boom, another one. <laughs> what you talking about? Where we gonna find a park? Bust this young U-turn real quick. Girl. She stayed making U-turns, man. That motherfucker In the just middle took of my nowhere. Park. Oh. Oh no, he didn't. I was about to say, little bitch, little bitch. Come on, man, get off my ass. I'm for the park. Thank you, fucking Honda. Anywho. So, yeah, man, I really got like lines and whatnot. I see. You still cool for it? No, I wasn't too cool. It was just, you know. <clears throat> My wife would just, like, walk up to bitches and just smile, and they would see her deep dimples, and then that would be it. Ain't that right? <laughs> no. That is not what happened. Yeah, that is not what happened. 
So me and my wife found this place called Yard House on our last date night. And the food was so good, like we decided to come back. <laughs> Hello, good. So my wife got macaroni and cheese, and I got bacon and chicken in it. I'm so jealous right now. <laughs> What's up? Yes. Do. I bet you won't get in the car. Got the car keys? Yep. <laughs> and then I got a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, which was so good. I got it last time, it was really good. But I'm like jealous of her macaroni and cheese. <laughs> you can have some. So I made it to the Apple store. Um, me and my wife kind of ran out of time when we were eating. So I had to hurry up and run to the Apple store so we can make our appointment. But so far, they're trying to see what's wrong with my daughter's phone so they have it plugged up to a MacBook. I'm trying to see if they can restore anything. So hopefully, let's see if this works. If not, she will need a whole new phone. And she just got this one, so hopefully it don't cause us too much to do. So she needs to get a job. She's too expensive. And I'm just I'm just waiting for my wife to walk um because the restaurant's down the street. So my wife stayed and was boxing up the food while I ran down here. So we will see. Um regular green messages text messages. Okay. And then after that she couldn't even do that. Okay, I want to see that if the update fixes that. If I knew that there was a bunch of other stuff going on, I probably would have. Okay, we just came from the Apple store. They fixed our daughter's phone. Thank God. But now we are going to Starbucks. And then we're going to our daughter's school to take her her phone. Because she's spoiled. And couldn't wait till she got home. Right, babe? Pretty much. So we're on our way home and me and my wife was just talking about what we've been seeing on social media and stuff. It always seems like around Christmas time, around Sweetest Day time, around Valentine's Day time, it seems like the couples are in competition with each other. And it's just like, you should not be in competition with other couples. You need to be in competition with yourself to be like, okay, what I am I going to myself? Right, how am I going to top myself? How am I really going to surprise my girlfriend, my wife? You shouldn't be copying. I mean, not saying that it's a lot of copying going on because I can copy your idea and I can make it better. Okay. Or I, can per or I can personalize it for my wife. And it's just not exactly how you had it. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like it's just too much competition bullshit. It's just like, I'm, I'm confused. Do we get a trophy? Like, do we get a certificate for participating? No? I don't know. I just, I just think you should just cancel your girl or, like, the person that you with. It's like, it's not for the, the what other people doing is not going to help you on your girl. Exactly. So. And everybody not the same. Everybody not going to like certain stuff. even just LGBT couples. We want to support all couples because we like to be around people who are in love. People who are making moves and stuff. And it's just like, why are y'all in competition with each other? It's, it's really weird. And it's like, you, you get nothing from it. We 
definitely be in competition with each other. Because I'm just like, how am I going to surprise them? Or what's going to get the biggest reaction? That's my only competition. I'm not looking at whoever do, who doing whatever for their wife or their girlfriend. That's cool and all, but oh no. I'm in competition with myself or with my wife. Because yep. my wife surprised me. I'm taking your than ass I. down this year. Just throwing it out there while we on the TikTok. <sighs> Whatever. I did an idea for Valentine's Day last year and they're like shitting on her. It's like. Like, I don't know how to really top it. Really, you gotta say it like that? I mean, but I did, you know. I, that was, I mean, but like, it that was, was like, I I literally shit it on the whole idea. That was the, the first idea. time ever out of whoa, 10 years. Whoa, fam, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, 10 I, wouldn't, years. I wouldn't say the first time. I would say. I would, it was not the first time. Okay, that I name, beat her. okay, name another time. Name another Valentine's Day you beat me. When I got you some uh, some Jordans that you said were so cute and I thought was ugly and you thought they were sold out and I got them. Nope. Yeah. Nope. I Because you thought I wasn't going to get you nothing. Mm -hmm. And I brought it to your job. Mm -hmm. She, see what? She will not give me my credit. Like. Nope. Anyways, I did something last year shitting on her. Really? You got to keep saying it like that though? And now I don't know how to talk. That's it. crazy. So it didn't. So I didn't shit on you. You, you. I mean, like. Just like it is. You didn't necessarily shit on me or whatever. It was just slightly better. Slightly. Slightly. Wow. How much is slightly again? Like four percent. So my gift last year was only four percent better than what you got me. Yeah, it was Absolutely slightly. fucking not. It was slightly. What are you talking about? I went bananas on fucking Valentine's Day. Crazy. My gift was 94% better than hers. Wow, you gonna, you gonna throw another 90 on it? Yeah. You gonna put a 90 on it? That's why, that's why your ass gonna be stuck this Valentine's Day. Anyways. Now I didn't know how to top it this year, which made me kind of sad. But it's okay. I'll show you guys what I did for her last year. It was so cute. Was it? It was so cute. I mean, you know, whatever. It was cute. It was very emotional. Yeah, very. I like. I already knew what the gift was, and I got emotional still. Right. Yeah, one one year, um, she told me to go get a newspaper, and everybody was calling my phone asking me, you know, did I look in a newspaper? And she put my picture in a newspaper with this really, really, really sweet message, and I literally cried for hours because everybody was calling me. Yeah. I didn't even know that many people read the newspaper first off, but it was just really sweet. God, because it was snowing like three days back to back, and now it's melting. Well, you know, it's and in Chicago, right? we take dibs seriously. If you guys don't know what dibs is, it's that. when somebody cleans out a parking spot and they put something right there, like a chair. If you move that chair and you park in that spot, your brakes might be cut, your window might be busted. Um, they gonna put the snow back on your car, so you have to dig it back out. Like I'm in Chicago, dibs is car, serious. So your shit can yeah, last year we threw water on somebody's car and it froze. Yeah, yes, 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 we did. We did that. There was a beautiful parking spot. Girl, the chair still sitting in it. This is hurt. sad. This is sad. That's our dibs. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for today's vlog. We will see you guys in another beautiful, <laughs> in another beautiful, <laughs> in another uh video. 
Another beautiful video is what she was trying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And don't forget to be majestic as fuck and stay beautiful. Oh, shit. You telling motherfuckers to be majestic and whatnot? You gotta be majestic, unicorns. Hey, yo, positive ass unicorn. Bye, y'all. <laughs>